Hello everyone, this is uh, Dennis Mukapisi of Dennis Mukapisi Wildlife Photography from uh, Pangolin Photo Safaris. So for today's video, I'm going to talk to you about um, one of the oldest transportation systems in the Okavango Delta, which is a, a mokoro or a dugout canoe, which means I'm going to put my camera to the side and um, put on my guiding head. Alright, so Mukoro is a mode of uh, transport. It was first um, introduced into the Okavango Delta by the Bayei tribe, which is a tribe that um, I also originate from. Uh, this uh, tribe um, introduced the Mukoro in the Okavango Delta around the early 1800s. In the, typically, the Mukoros of those days were built using three different trees. This was the jackal berry, the sausage tree, and the African mangosteen. So these are some of the huge, magnificent trees that are found in the Okavango Delta. And um, so basically the uh, mukoros or the vessels itself um, would be constructed by each and every family. Each and every family would have their own mukoros, and the, these mukoros took approximately, to carve the whole thing, took approximately five to six months. So you can imagine it was a, a really cumbersome um, job to complete. It was a, it was a really, really tough job, uh, designed for fit, the fittest of the fittest the, within, within the tribe. They, after completion, they would use this uh, vessel to um, go fishing. They would also uh, cross big channels and small channels, visiting different um, tribes and different families within the Okavango region. And they would go even as far as, uh, as Maung uh, to access vital services. And uh, these journeys would take them um, anywhere from Two, two to three weeks traveling from deep within the Okavango Delta to reach Maung, which is the administration center of the this Okavango region. All the villages, uh, even as far as Kasane, back in those days, uh, people would travel from, from the Chobe region to come and access um, vital services in, in the in the Maung region or the Ngamiland region. So uh, Okavango Delta being um, a difficult place to maneuver uh, because of all the floods and um, all the, the islands located within the Okavango Delta. Uh, the vessel was a, a, an easy way of uh, exploring the Okavango Delta. So it was so easy that even when the first ex explorers came through, they used these vessels to also intimately explore the Okavango Delta. And um, years to follow, the tourism industry took up this way of life from the Okavango residents to also show international travelers how or how the people of Okavango lived to be able to, to see uh, this magnificent uh, wonder of nature. The tourists could only intimately explore the Okavango Delta by getting into one of these vessels which uh, brings us to where we are now. Where we are now is the, this is a village called Matapaneng, which is uh, one of the villages uh, along the Okavango Delta, or the Tamalakani River to be specific. So just like the people in the Okavango Delta, the people of Tamalakani River, or the people of Matapaneng, also explore the Okavango Delta. They also go fishing. Um, there's quite a few, few people now moving around uh, this is actually one of the perfect times for the people of the village to go and check their fishing nets. And some are coming down to do fishing with lines. And some of them are crossing the channel to go into the, uh, the different islands. Uh, as you can see, now that the river is flowing, the village has been um, cut in half, which means for the people to be able to access the other side of the river, they have to use these vessels uh, 
for them to be able to access their plowing fields and also to see family on the other side. So for me um, as well, uh, being a, a nature lover, I come down more often uh, to also explore the, uh, the river, to celebrate with the people, to do a little bit of fishing here and there and also to observe wildlife. And um, for some time now I've been seeing um, some interesting species, a African jacana, we've seen um, African uh, fish eagle uh, one of the days coming down, shooting down, unfortunately he couldn't catch any fish. And uh, sacred ibis, grey herons, and um, from the ploughing fields we often see the uh, hammercock, I, I saw a, um, a mating pair not so long ago. So the river has brought a lot of life. Uh, the river has brought um, amazing things. We, we're happy to see uh, the system flowing once again. So don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for, um, for future content.